Hi, my name is Evelyn and I'm 12 years old. I know we live far apart, but will you be my friend? I hope you enjoy the gifts and that you understand the true meaning of gift giving. Jesus, the ultimate gift. I want you to know that I love you and that God loves you. He sings and dances over you. He and his angels rejoice over your every move. I wish you well as you journey through life. Love, Evelyn. We are here in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. This is the first stop of the 100 Million Shoebox Tour. I wanted to introduce you to Evelyn Pino, the ambassador who will be taking the shoebox all across the country. She is an amazing gifted little girl who started a shoebox club basically at the age of six. She hosts packing parties year round and just loves Operation Christmas Child. I'm really anxious to get to know her. Evelyn! Hi! Hey, it's so nice to finally meet you! How are you doing? Are you excited? Oh, I'm really excited. When you started doing the shoebox thing, did you ever think, you know, in a million years that you would be here today being the ambassador for Operation Christmas Child? Nope. I've wanted to help the poor for a really long time. I was praying for it since I was six years old that I would be able to help the poor. Here, guys, do you need help over here? It started off really small. I told my mom that I had heard this idea. I felt God had it told me this. When we first got started, uh, Scott and I, uh, we wanted to support her in any way that we can and help her along in the process. Because she was eight, so she didn't really know yeah. what can I do and how do I start my own club and yeah. really just trying to be the drivers mm -hmm. and the encouragers so she could be the leader in this club. The club is called Shoebox Club. Right. We used to be at our house, but our house got too small, kids too big. <laughs> The group of kids. Um, and now we meet at a church. It's pretty cool that she started this club when she was about like eight years old. She's the person who came here and got us involved with it. Yeah, she's very nice. I really like her. We broke our backs for about an hour trying to get all this down, and we still haven't got all of it down yet. We have 80 members that come each month. We pack 40 to 50 shoe boxes. The 100 million one, when this child gets it. That tickles. The handprints on the paper we did is going to be on it. Operation Christmas Show! You're going to have a lot going on in the next few weeks and a lot of shoebox that we're packing, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be carrying the 100 million shoebox from place to place all across the U.S., encouraging volunteers. Let's go for it. At every place I stop, I'm going to get an item added to my shoebox. When my shoebox is full, I'm going to the Dominican Republic to hand deliver it to a little girl. That I've actually practiced. <laughs> so we're gonna go from Milwaukee to Sacramento and then to Nashville? Nashville, yes. And then? Tupelo. New York City. Ooh. I know. <laughs> I would have never, ever in like a million years thought about this, that I would be doing this. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Are you nervous? Are you excited? I'm nervous and I'm excited. Right? This is going to be your 100 millionth box that you're going to be yes. delivering to a child. And we actually have something to help you put the first item in it, which you've requested jump rope. So we're really excited to put that in that box because I think that's something that kids would really appreciate. This photo is going to go in the box to the kid who gets it. Oh, so they'll see awesome. a picture of everybody okay, who puts cool. something in there. What would you say to other kids out there who maybe want to do something to help other kids? Go ahead. It's, it's a hands-on project. Anybody can do it. Your handprints are going to be the ones that we're taking all across the country. Thanks, everyone. I couldn't have done it without you guys. I'm, I'm kind of going to be taking a little bit of you guys with us. I love you. I'm proud of you. Love you, Dad. You're so awesome, sweetie. Thanks, Dad. Thank you for all the work that you did, Taylor. You're amazing. <laughs> I'm 
Lord, help us on our journey in a one million shoe box that it travels around the world and give the biggest piece of your heart to this box and the person that gets, gets it. Amen. today and a very special little girl as you guys can see and um, Evelyn came to our family day last year in Minneapolis and that's where she was discovered and um, we heard her story and just really really touched by just such a a small servant um, who's doing just huge things for the kingdom and um, we're just going to do kind of a a Q&A this morning um, but I just want to ask Evelyn a few questions. Evelyn, um, so this is Samaritan's Purse. You're here. <laughs> so can you just share with everybody um, just why this is so important to you? Well, I wanted to kids to feel loved and to know about Jesus. Thank you, Evelyn. So you have been to, let's name the places, Milwaukee. Sacramento. Sacramento. Nashville. Nashville. You hopped up to New York. Back to Orange County, Denver. And then Minneapolis. And Minneapolis. And so you collected all kinds of items in your box. Why don't you open up your box and show us some of your favorite items and um, share with our staff why they're so special. Okay. Well, you saw the jump ropes being added. And since Milwaukee was so close to us, um, they decided to put in my favorite toy. (laughs) Yeah, I request requested that they did that. (laughs) And we have a stuffed lamb. Um, The stuffed lamb was given to us in Nashville by a person named Oksana. And she actually received a shoebox when she was a little girl. And she was an orphan. And she said a stuffed animal kind of like represented a hug. It was what she thought. And so she wanted to give a hug to a little girl. And then the candy canes were given to us by another person who received a box, whose name was Alex. And when Alex grew up in Rwanda, and he lived in an orphanage also. And so when he got these, he noticed that they were shaped like a J, and that he tried to chew them with a plastic on them. <laughs> and that was, he, what he said was his first bite of a candy cane. And he said, if something so simple made such a change in his life and that he wanted to make a change in the little girl's life so he was putting in candy canes. So how many more items are we adding? Wow, I'm not sure really. I think we're adding two more items. Yeah, some today in Boone and some tomorrow in Charlotte. And so then tomorrow night after the Charlotte event, we will head to the Dominican Republic, the destination. <laughs> so tell us, what are you most excited about um, to get to go and... Well, and deliver the box. I'm most excited about giving this box to a little girl. Um, I'm kind of young for doing a spy trip, everyone says, and so I'm very excited to get to do this and very honored. I can't wait to see the look on the little girl's face when I get to give it. And so, Evelyn, um, is there anything that you would like to say um, to our staff here at Samaritan's Purse? Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Thank you for everything that you guys do. We wouldn't have been able to do this without you guys. And I'd like to say a special thank you to our broadcasting team. It's been fun having you guys follow us around for the entire tour. And the videos that you guys make are incredible. (laughs) And so Evelyn, uh, Ron, if you'd come up and um, accept something. So Evelyn has something that she would like to present Samaritan's Purse. Shoebox Club has worked for the entire year and we have ended up raising $1,500 All right, thank you. Thanks for sharing today. And uh, uh, Phyllis Payne would be interested in this, that uh, her 
her club, now, uh, Evelyn, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've organized a board of directors, right? And what are the ages? Okay, from ages four to 12 are their board of directors. So. We may have our uh, next generation for corporate affairs or you know, two generations down the road. So uh, thank you for coming to share. I know it's been, you've had a heavy schedule. With, and thank you, Josie, for allowing her to come today. I know it touched our hearts, and uh, we just praise the Lord for that. Any other requests we have before we move on to prayer? All right. Let's uh, go. Remember the needs uh, that were mentioned, and uh, have a great day.